Gina and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with another tag for you and today's tag I'm super excited to film because it's all about the stuff on your shelves rather than the books themselves. This is the Bookshelf Curiosities tag created by my book portal. Her link will be in the description below. I saw this video on Connor O'Brien's channel. His link will also be in the description below. It just seems like a really fun tag and I have a lot of stuff on my shelves as you guys can probably tell in all of my videos. And so yeah, there's quite a few questions. I think there's about 24 or so questions or prompts and let's just get right into it. So the first 12 prompts are all various different things and the last 12 are all like colors and just basically very generic. Find something that matches this description. So the very first thing is the oldest thing on your shelf. I'm not entirely sure what is the oldest thing on my shelf, but I'm pretty sure that the oldest thing on my shelf is this wooden Gina block, which is pink. I've had this since grade school. Currently it sits on the top of my bookshelf and I'm pretty sure this is the oldest thing that I have on my shelves. The next question is the newest thing on your shelf and I have two of the little mystery figures that you can get and they're Finding Dory mystery figures. I'm pretty excited that these mystery figures though have like a hole, like a clear hole in the package so you could tell which figure you were getting. So I got Hank, the little octopus guy, focus, there he goes. And I also got the little sea otter because the sea otter is adorable and I love them. They're so cute. These are definitely the newest things on my shelves. The next item is something book related. I'm assuming this is something like fandom related. At least that's what I'm going with. And I'm going with this little Harry Potter figurine, which I've had since the first movie came out. And it's Hagrid and Harry and the troll and Gringotts. And it's actually like a little hideaway thing. You can't put much in it. The next item is a Funko Pop figure, which you guys have seen all of my pop figures and they're everywhere. So I'm just going to show you three of my favorites. I love all my pop figures, which is why I buy them all, but these three definitely stand out and they're ones that I definitely love. Maybe not the most, but they're definitely high up there. The first one is no surprise, Hermione Granger in her Goblet of Fire Yule Ball outfits, if it'll focus. There she goes. So in her Yule Ball outfit, I love this pop figure because the detail on it is amazing. I also really love my Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Again, if she'll focus. There she goes. I love that she has the little swords and the dress. And again, the details with the hair and everything are just amazing. And the third pop that I want to showcase in this tag is my Quidditch Draco because Draco and Ron are my favorite characters. Well, some of my favorite characters in the Harry Potter books. I also love Fred and George, but they have not made a Fred and George pop figure yet, which they need to. Why haven't they done that yet? They need to. But I definitely love Draco and his little Quidditch Slytherin outfit. It's just, I love him so much. The next item is something Harry Potter related. I have quite a few items that I could show you for this and I feel like you guys have seen most of them and most of them do sit on my shelves even though they're up top where you can't see. So I thought about showing my wands again and I thought about showing various different things but I ultimately ended on showing my divination ball because this is something you guys don't see like at all because technically it's not on my shelf it's on my nightstand which is close to the shelf that I have in my room but my nightstand sometimes acts as a shelf depending on if I'm reading at night or not so I'm saying that it counts and I just love the details on this we got this from the noble collection like years ago when the noble collection first came out with these obviously it came out with like the third book third movie rather and I just love it because it's elephants and it's the crystal ball and it's amazing. The next prompt is Disney related and I am choosing Chip which is Chip the mug and he actually is a mug and he actually has a little chip and he's just so adorable and I'm so happy to have him because he's cute and he sits on my bookshelf. I have not used him to actually drink out of yet and honestly I don't know if I ever will. He's more so just like a collector's item for me because he's Chip and he's cute and I love him. The next item is a candle and I actually have quite a few candles sitting on my bookshelves and they're all from the Etsy page from the page 
which if it focused, this is actually my favorite and it's just the jar because the candle is already burnt out. But Mermaid Splash smells amazing. It is one of my favorite scents from her store and this is the only candle that I have in the big candle. I usually buy the little sample packs with where you can get four scents in the little tiny candles because I don't, don't burn candles that often. But when I do, it's usually her candles because they all smell amazing. And I will link her Etsy page in the description below if you want to check her out. The next item is a holiday memento. So I'm going with this Beauty and the Beast ornament, which is just Belle sitting by the fl flyer, sitting by the fire. And you have Cogsworth and the Beast, well, the Beast picture and Lumiere. And she's just reading a book. And I love it. She sits on the shelf that is in my room. But I do have another kind of holiday memento. It's Beast in the bathtub who is also an ornament, but he's more of just an ornament, not necessarily completely holiday related. So that is why I chose this one. Number nine is a bookend and I actually don't own bookends. I know that we have a couple, I believe they're downstairs in the basement and they're like horse heads, like marble horse heads. Like I said, I think they're in the basement. I don't use them. They're not on my shelves. I, they might even be at my dad's house. I don't, I don't really even know where they're at. So I have nothing to show you because I don't use bookends. The next prompt is the weirdest thing on your shelf. And I have two for this one. One of them could possibly go for the oldest thing on my shelf. Again, I don't really know when I got it. But the first thing is this little wooden mustache on a stick. I, I don't know. I don't know why this is still on my shelf. It was in a drawer somewhere, but when I was looking on my shelves to find stuff, this is what I found. I also have like little finger mustache tattoos that I haven't used, but they are sitting in a drawer. So yeah, I went through a mustache craze, like when the mustache craze was becoming a thing and this was like a dollar or something. So I got it. And the second weirdest thing on my shelf, which like I said, could be the oldest thing on my shelf, I don't really know. And that is this little Mickey Mouse keychain fuzzy ball thing. I don't even know. I just know I've had this forever. It was a keychain and you see the little key rings off of it. And he's just a little fuzzy ball and he's cute. I also have Nala from The Lion King. I thought I had Simba as well, but Nala's the only one on the shelf. I don't know where Simba is probably in the basement somewhere. The next prompt is an animal. I have quite a few animals on my shelves, but for this one, I wanted to go with my Gorlock. This was the mascot at my college and he is adorable. I just had to buy him whenever I saw him. I actually have two Gorlocks. I have a little tiny one that sits on this shelf and then this one actually sits on the shelf in my room because he's just, I love him so much. And he's actually three animals, so. He really counts for this question. <laughs> the next question is a photograph or picture. I don't have many pictures on my shelves and the ones that I do are on the shelves in my room from various graduations of a couple of pets and that's really all I have but they're on like the top of the bookshelf and like stuff is in front of them and it was too complicated to try to maneuver and take them down. So I do have a couple of pictures on my bookshelves but not many. And the rest of the questions are all colors except for the last three. The last three are more descriptors but for now, we're going through all of the colors. For black, I have this Blues Official Game Hockey Puck. Focus. Official Game Hockey Puck, which is this hockey puck. This is actually the case for it. And it even says Official Hockey Puck on the back. And it has the blue logo. I love it. My mom got it at a work auction and it sits in its little case. It has a lid that actually fell on the floor. It just sits on my bookshelf because where else would I put it? For white, I have this Funko Pop plushie of Zero because Zero is adorable and he's pure white, except for his nose and his eyes and his little collar. For yellow, I have this really creepy um, Five Nights at Freddy's mystery figure. I do not play the game. I watch people play the game on Let's Plays and I'm kind of excited for the movie. So on a whim, I bought a couple of these mystery figures and he's yellow and creepy. Orange is the next color and I'm also skipping down to green as well because my orange and green items go hand in hand. And that is Gumby and Pokey, these little figures. They do actually move and bend and 
I've had these also forever and they've just been sitting on my shelf in my room for the longest time. For red, I have this little elf doll that I actually got from seeing Elf the Musical. He's really soft and I love him so much. He's so soft, I don't, he just kind of sits on my bookshelf. Most of my stuffed animals sit in other places because like I transfer them back from like sleeping with them. Cause yes, I do still sleep with a stuffed animal, but he sits on my bookshelf since he's specially from the musical and he actually sits really well as you can see because I just have him sitting in my hand. For pink I have Bing Bong which is a pop figure. I actually don't have many pink things and Bing Bong is pink so I figured he'd work perfectly for this. For purple and blue I have two round some somewhat ball type animal figure things and that is my Pygmy Puff Guinevere and my little blue blues ball, which doesn't have a name, I'm sorry. But they're just two little roly-poly things. Guinevere sits on top of this shelf, and this little blue guy sits on the shelf in my room. And they're just, they're fun and squishy, and I love them. The next prompt is something made of glass, and so I have these two Harry Potter, um, snow globes, that's what they're called. There they go. I think a Hallmark or something had these and I only have these two. It would have been cool to have more but I definitely have these two and so they sit on top with all the rest of my Harry Potter stuff. For something that was giving to you I have my little Cyrus doll. My best friend gave this to me because we both cosplay as Cyrus and, and his wife Reese and I am Cyrus. She saw this at a store and had to get it for me. He's just adorable and when I'm in makeup and full costume, it's just, it's, I love it so much. It's just awesome and he's really fluffy. So he sits on the bottom of my bookshelf and sometimes my cat likes to think it's his toy. And the last question is something that does not belong on your shelf that's there and I'm going with hot glue. Hot glue sticks. The hot glue gun is also on my shelf. These are in the shelf in my room. I just haven't moved them. I put them on my shelf when I was done hot gluing something and it's not where they belong. They belong in a drawer, in like my crafty drawer. I just haven't moved them yet. And that is all I have for this tag. It was a really fun tag to do. I'm not really gonna tag anybody specific, but if you have a lot of items on your shelves and wanna do this tag, definitely do it. It was a lot of fun going through all of my items. I just love my items on my shelf almost as much as I love my books. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.